When we're using option 2 or option 3, we can build a preference manager. This allows the user to choose which cookies they would like to keep and which cookies they would like to omit. We can also build a manage cookies button, which allows the users to change their preferences at any point in time. Now, we're going to build this in four simple steps. In step 1, we're going to build our manage cookies component. In step 2, we're going to build our preferences pop-up. In step three, we're going to add attributes to our components to give them superpowers. And in step four, we're going to add attributes to the script that we want to turn off and on depending on the user's preferences. So without further ado, let's head over to Webflow and get started. The first thing that we're going to build is going to be the manage cookies component. And the last time in our option two and option three uh, walkthrough, we built this cookie consent wrapper symbol that has our cookie banner inside. Now, we want to make our manage cookies component adjacent to this cookie banner element. So we're gonna add it right here. It's going to be a sibling. So we're gonna add a div block and we're gonna call it cookie manager. Okay. And we're going to also set the position to fixed and I'm going to push it in the bottom left corner over here. I'm going to give it here 48 pixels from the left and 48 pixels from the bottom. Okay. And inside of that component, I want to add an icon. So I'm going to open that here. And I'm going to add a simple embed here. Okay, and here I have some code that I'm just gonna paste in, which is an SVG cookie. Okay, and I'm gonna set this class to icon. And here I'm gonna add it a width of 32 pixels and a height of 32 pixels. And here we can see our cookie. Now, I'm also gonna add a little bit of padding over here so that the user can miss the cookie component and they will still open the cookie manager. Now this color of the cookie I don't really like so I'm just gonna adjust that. The color is set to current color so we can simply change the text color here and it's gonna look good. So yeah this looks like a cookie color to me. Okay right now we have to add an attribute to this component of FSCC manager also i'm not 100 percent happy with the color of this cookie so i'm gonna set it to a bit of a lighter value like this i think this looks better and one thing to note here is that this code is nothing essential this is just the svg for our icon here so don't let this confuse you all right, and this is step one, building the manage cookies component. The next thing that we're gonna be building is gonna be our preference pop-up. And to do that, we're gonna head back to our cookie consent wrapper. And inside of that, we're gonna drop a form block. I'm gonna center it in the middle of the screen. I'm gonna set the position to fixed and I'm gonna use the option full here. All right, this is going to center our form in the middle of the screen. And I'm going to make sure that it's above all the other elements. So I'm going to add a Z index of, let's say, 1000. Now, here I'm going to set the background color to 70% black. That's going to give it a nice overlay. And on the form component inside of that, I'm going to give it a class of form and I'm going to add a white background color. Now, also, this is looking a little bit awkward, so let's give it some padding. All right, this looks good. And right now, I'm going to set the max width to 420 pixels, and I'm going to set the width to 100%. Or let's give it 480. All right. And the next step is to delete all the elements inside of the form. But we're going to keep the form. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add our 
checkboxes inside of the form for each cookie category and we're going to add buttons that are saving our preferences a button that's allowing all the cookies and a button that's rejecting all the cookies so let's add our checkboxes first all right and i'm going to give it a class of checkbox field like so i'm going to center it and here to the checkbox itself i'm going to give a class of checkbox here i'm going to remove this margin over here and i'm going to add a right margin of 12 pixels like so now this checkbox is a little bit small so i'm going to make it bigger i'm going to change the width to 20 pixels and the height to 20 pixels all right and i'm also going to add a margin of 16 pixels at the bottom here or let's make it even bigger let's set it to 24 pixels all right and the last thing i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna customize the look of this checkbox over here so i'm gonna set it to custom here choose the state checked and i'm gonna change the color here all right i'm gonna change it to a greenish color like so and i'm gonna copy that same color and apply it on the border of the element all right now i'm gonna copy this element for all of our cookie categories so personalization marketing and analytics so we're gonna paste this two more times like that and the last category that we're having is essential cookies but this cannot be enabled or disabled this is required so i'm gonna add a field inside uh, sorry a label and i'm gonna write essentials required or ex essential cookies so it's more descriptive and here i'm going to write analytics cookies marketing cookies and personalization cookies okay and i'm also going to add a headline this is going to be our personalization pop-up and i'm going to call it uh sorry our preferences pop-up and i'm going to call it preferences dashboard i'm going to put that all the way at the top here and below i'm going to add our buttons so I'm going to drop in a button and I'm going to give it a class of button. Okay, now here I'm going to write accept all on this button. I'm going to add two more buttons. This one is going to be save my preferences. And this one is going to say reject all cookies like so and here i'm going to change this layout to flexbox vertical and align the elements to both sides here on the field i'm going to give it a class of a label and i'm going to give it also a margin of 16 pixels on this button i'm going to add a class of secondary button here i'm going to remove this color or i'm going to set it to white i'm going to set the text to black like so and i'm going to set the inner shadow to two pixels like so all right looking good and to this button i'm going to give the same class so secondary button here now that we're happy with the preference pop-up component, we're gonna add attributes to some of the elements to give them superpowers. So the first attribute that we're going to add is on our form block, and we're gonna add an attribute of FSCC with a value of preferences. Preferences, like so. Then we're gonna add attributes to our checkboxes. 
To the first checkbox, we're going to add an attribute of FSCC checkbox with a value of the category, in this case, personalization. Same with marketing, FSCC checkbox with a value of marketing. Marketing. And here on analytics, we're going to add an attribute of FSCC checkbox with a value of analytics. All right. And on the buttons here, we're going to apply also attributes. So first on this button, we're going to add an attribute of FSCC allow for allowing all of the cookies on saving our preferences here on this button. We're going to add FSCC submit. And to the last button, we're going to add an attribute of FSCC deny. Okay. And that's all we have to do here. So right now we can set the form block here, the outermost component to display none. And we can do the same with our manager component. So we're going to select our cookie manager and we're going to set the display to none. All right. And now we can head over to our project settings and add attributes to the scripts that we want to turn on and off depending on the user's preferences. So let's head over to project settings. And right here, we're going to add our FSCC categories tags. And what these tags allow us to do is to turn the scripts on and off depending on the user's preferences. Now, all of these cookies over here fall in the analytics category. So what we're going to do here is write FSCC categories. And in the quotation marks, we're going to write the category that this cookie falls into. All right, or this cookie issuing script falls into. So we're going to write analytics here. Now, if some of these cookies would fall in the marketing category, you would write marketing. Same with personalization. All right, so we're going to copy this and we're going to add it to all of our scripts here. All right, that's it. Now let's hit save and let's publish our site. Once our site is published, we can open the site and we should see our cookie banner. As you can see, our cookie banner is showing up. And if we hit accept, we should be able to adjust our preferences here. So you can see that all of these cookies have been accepted. And let's say now we wanted to turn these cookies off. So we're going to save our preferences. And if we now hit refresh on the page, our preferences should be saved. And as you can see, our preferences have been saved. To make sure that all of your third party cookie issuing scripts are getting turned off and on depending on the user's preferences, I would encourage you to check out the visual debugging tool, which you can find right over here. This will ensure that your setup is done correctly. And if you have any typo or you forgot an attribute, it's going to let you know. Thanks for watching. Check out more FinSuite videos to keep learning Webflow.